Well, hello there, folks. Happy Sunday to you. I hope I find you all very well indeed and a very warm welcome as usual. Back to what's for tea and our meals of the week for this week. My favourite video of the week and I think it's yours as well. I just love sharing, you know, what I'm making for the family meals. But if you're new and it's your first time here, my name's Cheryl. We are a family of four from the west coast of sunny Scotland. So let me go and show you what I made this week. So on Monday, I made a slow cooker beef stew, but I made it into a sort of cottage pie type situation because I put the mashed potato on the top and a wee bit of cheese and just roasted that in the oven just until the cheese went nice and crunchy on the top. And it was nice for a wee change, you know, having it all together like that. So you got the stew in the bottom, then the mashed potato, a wee bit of cheese, and I'd done the stew in the slow cooker and it was lovely. Moving on to Tuesday, I've done a very simple tuna pasta bake. This is a great time saver, this one. I use the Coleman's sort of uh, seasoning and you add your own tuna and sweet corn and pasta and it just turns into a wonderful mouthful. And that was the fresh egg penny pasta. And we had some very ripe tomatoes on the side with a wee bit of parsley and some garlic bread. And this is it here, just out of the oven. And see if you haven't tried these seasoning mixes, they, you know, they're so tasty and easy. Moving on to Wednesday, you'll have seen this one already if you watch my potato wedges recipe. But I will leave a link to the potato wedges video down below. And I've also got a video for the battered fish I will leave down below just in case you want to go and make them. And we had some mushy peas at the side and a wee bit of lemon and more parsley. And that was the wedges there just after they'd been done and they were absolutely delicious. So yeah, go and, go and watch that if you haven't seen it already. Moving on to Thursday, I made bangers and mash. So this is mashed potato with some herbs inside and these are some links from the butcher with some beans at the side. We've got to have beans, you know, with this kind of thing. It's just, oh, it's just amazing and very traditional. Simple to make and quite cheap too. Moving on to Friday, another pasta bake, but this time it was a cheese and broccoli pasta bake and I used pasta shells just for a wee change from the macaroni. I've got bags and bags of random, you know, half, pa half packs of pasta that I have to use up and we had some broccoli on the side. So I didn't use all of the broccoli in the pasta, I kept some back for at the side. Moving on to yesterday, we had cottage pie. So I went to the butcher and I got some mince, and this is just some mashed potato on the top, the same as the, you know, the stew at the beginning of the week. It's just the minced beef, carrots and onions underneath with the gravy and a mashed potato and cheese on the top. And this was the bigger dish. There were more of us for tea tonight, so I cracked out the bigger dish. And we just had some buttered swede on the side. Again, another really easy one to make, you know, and it's quite quick and it's just so delicious. You know, it's a classic, but a classic for a good reason. So you've got your mince in the bottom, the creamy mashed potato, and then some grated cheese on the top. And again, just put it into the oven until the cheese is nice and melty on the top. Moving on to today, and we had roast chicken. So this was one of those roast in the, roast in the bag chickens, and we all do like different parts of the chicken. So this was a roasted chicken breast with some roast potatoes, some sage and onion stuffing, some balls of doom, and then some chicken gravy for the top and I made up the chicken gravy with the juices from the chicken's roasting bag and that was absolutely delicious as well. So those were our meals this week so thank you very much for watching if you're leaving at this point and a massive thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. It does mean ever so much. And I say it every time, but it does mean ever so much. And thank you all for watching, leaving your lovely comments with those who share the videos. You know, if you haven't done yet, consider subscribing just before you go. You know, if you do like these kinds of videos, I do my wee meals of the week and a wee recipe and our food shopping during the week as well. It would be lovely to see you back. And if you haven't done yet, please give the video a like just before you leave. And if you're not following me on Instagram yet, I'm what's for t 3 over there. And it would be lovely to see you over there as well. So I'm going to go off now and I will catch you during the week. We're going away to Aaron for a couple of nights. So I'll be sure to share what we're having over there on next week's Meals of the Week. So until I see you next, guys, take care of yourselves and I'll see you off as soon. Back here on What's for Tea. Bye now.